do is um, quickly make sure that we have everybody here. And uh, I think we do. Um, I don't know where he went, but he's right there. So, um, and one of the maybe you saw the, um, the email traffic, but um, Vern is here sitting in as the ex officio um, member for the Baltimore Sorry. One thing, I guess I'd like to sorry to put together an agenda before we get here. We will obviously go through all the warrants, but I wanted to do a quick, um, uh, get a motion on the minutes from last week, if, if folks have had a chance to review those, and, and uh, whether we can put a motion forward to a <coughs> I did have a couple of things. I think when, when we did roll call votes, I, I abstained. And so I think it just lists the yes and no vote. It doesn't say where I am. So if you just add me in on those okay. roll call votes as abstained, that would be good. Any other questions or comments on the minutes from last week? Hearing none, uh, we'll have a vote to approve the minutes as, as modified by by those two comments, uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstains? Minutes are approved. Uh, Denise would like to make a comment before we move into voting. Um, there was an unfortunate um, uh, situation that happened today that um, a warrant article was overlooked by the camera for a capital project. And it was for the for fire forestry. Coming up, CIP should be one. We realize it. And really <coughs> so, knowing that, um, to make no more clarification, even though it's coming out of CIP, we still have to have it as part of the public hearing. So, knowing that, we can um, have it. And is, is it in here? Monday to see if that's something that we can go forward with. 
Monday's a holiday. I'll Thursday. ask on Tuesday, Tuesday. But this board would still need to, if you're willing to carry on this conversation, it would be helpful if you would discuss and decide whether to recommend or not recommend, because that would still need to happen. So essentially we could so provisionally recommend if it could actually get put onto the uh, onto the board articles. And if we find out we can have another public hearing, we can try to get that in quickly. And if, if not, and we are told that we cannot go forward with it because it wasn't spoken to the public hearing, then we would like not go forward. And maybe the, the motion could be contingent upon that information as part of the motion to bring that forward if we choose to. I, I'm, I'm less optimistic that that's going to work just as this reading through you know, the schedule requirements for SP2 is usually the last, the last um, date in which you can hold a public meeting, and that's, I think, where we're, where we're at, but um, that's worth, um, it's worth looking at, and I, I, don't, I don't think there's anything to lose if we decided that we would recommend if it could be brought back on uh, legitimately within all requirements. Yeah. Um, so, I, so, Joe? Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, we had Tuesday, I think, scheduled as a snow day just to make sure we've got all the I's across the T's. Can we just say, have that meeting on Tuesday? This would be the only time. Well, we must have been able to sometime. Maybe maybe that only comes in if the meeting is canceled. Yeah, I think I think that when I, and I, I don't, I remember checking in on the snow dates on SP2. I don't remember all the hearings, but when we checked in on SP2, Municipal Association indicated if you had if you were on the last day because we, we originally had it scheduled for SB2 it was going to be on the last day you could do an SB2 meeting and we said well, what if we have a snow date and that's why we have a Tuesday night presentation um, if you have a snow date uh, the Municipal Association felt that that was a reason enough to be able to you know to postpone beyond but I think you have to have that reason not just not just a uh, administrative issue the, the other possible constraint and I frankly don't remember is how much time you need to have to post a public hearing. Is it 24 hours or is it seven days? I think it's a week, isn't it? Um, Caroline, do you? I'll look into it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's. And so I wonder if there's some way to put out, because that, that's going to move us forward as well, move us along. So if there's some way to put out a provisional, a posting for a provisional public hearing. You know, in other words, if everything else will be we will be meeting on such and such to, to talk about this. But if, if there's no opportunity, then you can just put it out and post and insist and cancel. Um, Caroline, don't we have to have uh, the, some, the certification into the DRA by the 23rd? Is that, there's something we have to... The budget, that's the operating budget. The budget committee needs to, um, that, that's your next step, is that when I get into the office, I need to put this information into the state and print the form, and you all need to come by and sign the operating budget. Okay. So I don't, I, don't think what, I don't think that pertains to this. Okay. It's just the operating budget? It's not the warrant. Because they're voted on separately, is that correct? Because the warrant is finalized by the select board by or on the 27th of January, which would include the recommendations and not recommendations. Now, if it's not on the warrant article, it can't come out of CIP, right? Right. Okay. Any other questions on that? Well, just to make sure that one other thing to make sure that it's not coming from taxation, it's coming from CIP. Do, do we have text for a warrant article for that that we could, that we can, you know, we're talking about provisionally accepting, but are we able to sort of read through um, the text of a warrant article? Uh, I can certainly get you that post-haste, but... Um, can you move it from capital to operational? Just, you, not really. Okay. You, you, need, you need the line in your budget that says vehicle purchasing. You, you need to have um, you need to have the function represented in your budget, but it's worth exploring the DRA. Um, because then it wouldn't have to be exploded out of and talked separately as a warrant article, as they had a copy of the budget. You can't, although it wasn't in the operating budget. Right. Yeah. 
the final report. And wouldn't, wouldn't the language of a warrant article have to come from the select board or not, yes. not, not from the board? No, it is the test. Select board or petition. So we wouldn't have a language. The select board couldn't meet in the time that we're meeting today to put a part of the request to... They're not approving the warrant until the 27th. So I can certainly get you draft language. You all are recommending or not recommending concepts to purchase something for an amount of money from a given fund. So the language almost doesn't matter. It's really the concepts that you're recommending or not recommending. That's right. We're not... We don't talk about... We can't adjust what the warrant article language is. We can just go to recommend or not recommend. So essentially it doesn't... You're right. It doesn't... It's whether the budget line item that they're okay with or not. Is there any more questions about that? What I'll do is I'll read each of the articles out loud and then we can have a vote to recommend or move for a motion to recommend and then we'll discuss and then we'll vote. And just so you're ready for it, I think we'll have roll call votes. So be ready to tally. So the operating budget to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate for the budget committee proposed sum of $2,454,755 for general municipal operations. The article does not include appropriations contained in special or individual articles addressed separately. Should this article be defeated, the default budget shall be $2,387,067, which is the same as last year with certain adjustments required by previous action of the town by four by law. Or the governing body may hold one special meeting in accordance with RSA 4113.10 and 16. To take up the issue of revised operating budget only. Note this operating budget warrant article does not include appropriations contained in any other warrant articles. It's recommended by the select board. Do we have a motion to recommend? Motion to recommend. Motion to recommend. Second from Suzanne. Any discussion? Question. When did the select board vote to recommend these warrant articles? When do they or when did they? When did they? I'm not sure that's relevant to the discussion, but is that something that's easily answered? It says recommended by the select board. It was at their last meeting. I affirmed with them and they by consensus agreed. But just because this is their draft and their document, they've asked that these things be put on the warrant. So that infers their recommendation, but they specifically, I affirmed that with them at their last meeting. That should be in the minutes of the last meeting. But that will be final recommendation will come later. They are finalizing the warrant on or before the 27th, which is a Monday night. Okay. Any other discussion on the operating budget? Do we need a roll call vote? Doesn't look like it. All in favor of the operating budget as written, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Sorry. So one abstention. Stormwater asset management. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $30,000 to defray the cost of planning for public facilities for development and implementation of an asset management plan for the town's stormwater collection and conveyance systems and to authorize the issuance of not more than $30,000 of bonds or notes in accordance with the provisions of the Municipal Finance Act, RSA 33, and further to authorize the select board to apply for a clean water state revolving fund loan repaying, I'm sorry, repaying, repayment of the loan funds will include up to 100% forgiveness of loan principal in the amount of up to $30,000 further to authorize the select board to take all other actions necessary to carry out and comply with the provisions of the Municipal Finance Act, RSA 33. 
complete this project. And we have a three-fifths ballot vote required um, for this. I'm not going to read the explanatory note unless somebody wants me to read that out loud. Questions? Do we have a motion? Um, question <coughs> oh, Questions come after motion. Yeah, so we'll put a motion to um, recommend the stormwater asset management. Moved by Angela, second by. Well, second. Well, second. Okay. second by Lynn to bring. Uh, now, discussion. Burn. Uh, it has, um, has the engineering company been signed? Have you selected an engineering firm to do this? No. No. Are you competitive bidding? Yes. So, I'm trying to understand the little pieces here. So, in essence, are we, I, I don't know the sequence of events, but we're sort of borrowing $30,000, and that's why uh, we're applying to the Clean Water State for Vulcan on loan. And then we use the $30,000 to pay for the asset management uh, expenses, and then as we cost reimbursable sort of way as we uh, expand, we will get reimbursed by the state. Is, is, that, is that how this works? Caroline, please answer that. Um, it does offer authorization in the language as currently presented um, that we could borrow the $30,000, but we have the cash flow for $30,000. So it's not likely that we would actually borrow or take bond notes for $30,000, but it's boilerplate language that was presented to us for this purpose. So really, the course of events as I see them is that we currently accepted, um, Friday was the deadline for requests for qualifications from engineering firms, that's step one, and then we will engage with an, engin an engineering firm to determine cost and scope more specifically, and then um, if it is approved at town meeting, then we'll go forward. But I can't imagine that we would really bond, or uh, you would bond, because uh, that would require this meeting, but um, the deliberative session to move differently. But I can't imagine we would borrow $30,000. But I don't, I want to be careful. I'm going <coughs> to help with this article still, because I want to make sure that we're not hand-tying ourselves, because the three-fifths ballot required in that language, I want to make sure that it's, it is technically a loan program, so I don't want to handicap our ability to participate in the program, which itself is a loan program. Um, so, but the intent is not so much to borrow except for that loan program. So, assuming that we get the, uh, that we get accepted by this, for this grant, that we would, we would expend the dollars, that's why you're saying we have sufficient cash for we would expend the dollars and then be reimbursed on a cost reimbursable basis by the state from this fund. Is that? Um, that is the um, that is the projected course once the state determines we are not eligible for reimbursement um, or, or loan forgiveness until the state determines that we've met um, their objectives. But yes, that's the plan. Water right. and sewer district has gone through this. You have to meet certain milestones and functions, and then this, if you get approved, the state reimburses you. Ours actually went from 2007, 2018 to 2019, and we got half of it. We got, we got half of it back. Ours was like forty thousand. We got twenty thousand back. So is your point that it's not necessarily guaranteed that you'll get the full thirty thousand? Is that what you're saying? It depends on how it's written. In our case, it was forty thousand, and we got twenty thousand back. But we had to give them a list of things that we accomplished and work product that we turned in, and then we just got money back. I just want to make sure I'm clear on it. Regardless whether we borrow the money or not, we will qualify for reimbursement if we meet X, Y, Z requirements. Is that correct, Carol? It, it, is, it is a loan program. So, yes, we're, so we're going to, um, so 
essentially, we're going we're gonna to do this, if, if we have the authority, we will do this project out of cash flow. And if we meet the criteria set, by, set forth by the state at the end of it, then they will reimburse the third, three, up to the $30,000. The goal absolutely will be to meet, you know, meet the criteria and get full reimbursement. So, um, just for clarification, this is a stormwater project. So, might it have different qualifications for the full reimbursement than perhaps another program under DES? I just, I'm wondering if in fact you can get 100% reimbursement as this is well. It is a 100% reimbursement potential, absolutely. Um, the state revolving funds does handle um, water and wastewater projects as well. I imagine they all have different criteria because of the nature of being different projects. That's but, what I'm asking about. Um, so, so I can't speak to that, but um, okay. th this has the potential for 100% reimbursement. It, it's our understanding right now that, barring not meeting the requirements, um, it would be 100%. It, it won't change that, oh, we only have 15000 that we can give you. Or that's not going to change. The amount is for the grant is thirty thousand dollars. You just have to meet the requirements. Is that we have um, made it through the initial process with the state for approval, so that the in theory the money is set aside for us. That you know, assuming that this gets approved and we do it and meet the criteria, that the funding is available to reimburse us. Yes. So, okay. so before let's say we're we're going to spend ten thousand dollars on something related to this asset management. Will we know before we expend that $10,000 that it will, it will be approved? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get an idea of what amount of that 30000 is potentially at risk that, you know, that the town will have to... <coughs> Sorry, uh, Bert? They have very specific work products that you have to meet. So if you decide you're going to paint the interior of the town hall, that's not part of the list of work products they require. But if you meet all of those work requirements, all those work products, you get reimbursed. So they will have reviewed them ahead of time, I guess? They will They lay them out and say, these are the things you have to have. Right. So the request for qualifications with the engineers, the state is getting more strict in the process with um, the projects that are qualifying for these, fun, for these funds because they're fun, finding that projects sometimes aren't meeting the criteria. So I can't speak to which part of the, of the project would, you know, like the digital map is $20,000 and then cameraing and infrastructure, you know, maintenance parts is $10,000 each or something. I can't speak to that. I can only speak to the fact that these engineers on, on the DES pre-approved list are engineers qualified to do these projects that have done these projects before, but that further, they are now requiring us, in addition to that, to um, send engineering firms this request for qualifications, whereby they're supposed to prove that they can and have done these projects so that they're familiar with the scope and the um, qualification standards for reimbursement. So just to, to follow up on Suzanne's question, um, we basically pay up front, we do all the work, we expend the $30,000, we do the work in the way it's supposed to be done, we show the state, here's what we did, and they say, yes, you met the requirements, here's what we'll reimburse, or no, you didn't, we're not going to work. Is that, so, or so something in between, so yes. The entire money is, at, the $30,000 is at risk, essentially, because we have to expend it first before we can get approval uh, to get reimbursement, is that correct? That is correct. However, we, like I said, we have pre-qualified with the general scope that we have submitted. So it's, un um, it's unlikely to happen. Right. Okay. So basically, as long as you follow the guidelines, you're all set. So there's some risk, but but we feel confident that you know, we're going to be doing our best to follow the rules and regs and get qualified people. Right. Because that we're hiring people, there. we're familiar with the program uh, to do the work and have pre-approved. It's, it's not. So if it's up to thirty thousand dollars, you've got to spend the money first. Yes. Where is it in the operating budget? It's not in the operating budget because it's a more article. So it just comes out of the general okay. fund. You expend it out of the general fund. 
But you've already got the 30000 in uh, revenue. It's, it's listed as anticipating yeah, revenue. I know. Yeah, anticipating. Because we're anticipating. Yeah. You, have, you, you would anticipate that if it if You're doing it, your best it proves, Yes, exactly. So how does this relate to something you talked about in, the, um, in your presentation, Caroline, uh, that Rollinsford is one of 17 or 18 towns who are right now considered potentially polluting the water system? I, I'm not sure if I got that right, but could you speak a little bit about that in relation to the effort to address uh, this assessment? And how that factors into the $2,000 a day fine, for example. Think you're talking about two different things. I, I, yeah. It, yeah. it, it yeah. kind of is two different things. So we are an MS4 community. There are 13 in um, the Rockingham, Stratford County area, which are watershed areas into Great Bay um, and ultimately um, the Great Bay estuary and ultimately the ocean. Um, the state has identified um, waters, rivers and tributaries that are impaired and to what degree and in what areas. We've been identified as a community that has um, not just the Salmon Falls River, but um, the Fresh Creek and other um, tributaries are also um, impaired. So we've been required to have this five-year permit, which requires that every year we do more things, different things with public engagement and outreach. Um, so that the public knows what it can do to reduce these contaminants. But also, we are supposed to change our operations um, to um, reduce um, contaminants as well. So um, the, the EPA recently added an extra level of um, this permit um, to account for nitrogen because nitrogen is a bigger concern. So that's another whole bag of worms. And, and I just want to I just want to say that. Paul manages this for us, and I attend the meetings when I can, and I go to these local committee meetings, our volunteer committee meetings, but um, it, it's very technical and it's very intense, and there's a lot to know. And so the, um, the area communities have um, joined um, together to try to approach this, um, this permit in a unified manner so that um, if somebody's getting dinged, we're all getting dinged. And so they are resources for us. And we have UNH working on it, and DES and EPA come to these meetings to help advise us about how to deal with this. So, so this asset management um, grant is um, separate, yet part of that. So, will um, it help to inform process? It's a tool. It's a tool that will help our municipal operations. So one of the things in this permit we're required to do is change municipal operations such that we are not polluting ourselves in our daily functions as we might usually like. The police um, cruisers are now going to a car wash rather than washing them in the bay that puts soapy, dirty water in the storm drain and out to the river. So that's, that's one thing. We're going to eventually have to address um, how fire and highway trucks get washed because um, that's coming. So um, this will, this is a tool to help us manage the infrastructure because assets are part of, you know, you got to know how much you're, you know, you clean the storm drains, you have to know if they're impaired um, and how they're connected and, and how many do you have and, and where do they actually go. And we're still discovering all these things. So this is a tool that will help us better discover what we have for assets, assets being storm drains and connections. Yes, and then once we know what we have um, and where they all are and what their conditions are, that will inform how we manage them as we will be mandated to do through our permit. I'm always amazed at how much conversation can be have had on a $30,000 award article. We just passed a $2.4 million one. Almost no discussion. <laughs> Not that we haven't discussed it in the past, but I'm just saying. Well, this is the first time that we're dealing with this. It is. I, I, and I have one final question. Please. please. Just what are the time constraints? So are we expected to have this project completed in 2020, or is it apt to go into 2021 as well? I would say it's apt to go into 2021. But the revenue, you know, right. but, but it, it depends. So the revenue may or may not be actually received in 2020. That, that's where we're going. Okay, any further discussion of the stormwater asset management uh, board article? Uh, <coughs> vote all in favor, vote aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstained? Okay, it passes. Uh, not as in the past, but we will recommend it on the ballot. 
sidewalks to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $25,000 for the repair of sidewalks and further to authorize the withdrawal of $25,000 from the Transportation Improvement Capital Reserve Fund established for this purpose. And uh, it is recommended by the select board. Um, we have a motion, motion to accept. Motion from Burton? Yes. Second. Second from Charlie. Um, discussion? Okay, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstain? Police cruiser, to see if the town will vote to authorize the withdrawal of $13,000 from the Capital Improvement Plan Capital Reserve Fund for the second year lease payment for the police cruiser authorized for purchase in 2019. It's recommended by the select board. Do I have a motion? Motion. Motion from Byrne, second from Charlie. Any discussion? These are all boilerplate. A lot of these things are boilerplate. I'm just pointing out, we, we can move through these fairly quickly. Yes, yeah. so and that's, I think we are. So, uh, any other, any discussion? All in, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? And we will recommend that police, the first police cruiser. <coughs> Notice they're not called out separately on here. This says police cruiser twice. So. This is the second article on the police cruiser. To see if the town will vote to authorize the select board to enter into a three-year lease agreement in the amount of $35,000 for the purpose of leasing a police cruiser and to raise and appropriate the sum of $13,000 for the first year's payment of that, for that purpose. Further to the raise and appropriate the additional $13,000 to equip the vehicle for further authorized the first withdrawal of $25,000 from capital improvement. Reserve fund establishment for that purpose, $1,000 to come from taxation. This lease agreement does not contain this state law. It's recommended by the select board. Do I have a motion? Motion. Confirmed. Second. Charlie. Um, uh, sorry, discussion. I have a question. Are the titles on the warrant as they are right here? Like cruiser, police cruiser, police cruiser. Is it shown on the ballot that way? Um, the board can choose how to present it. We so, should, you know. We made a very good point that it's really not clear why are we doing it. Yes, like and I, I'm so aware of that. I'm just not, I haven't figured out how to yeah. address it. Okay, yeah, let's it's worth what, a distinction of some kind. So yeah, it's yeah, like just a Well, it will get it. They will have different article numbers. Yeah, yes. but, it's, but it's confusing possibly yes. that this one was already done and then this one isn't. So we will try to fix it so it's clear in the title, not the content of it. Oops. Okay. Any other discussion? Yeah. Uh, really just a Clarification: the, the one we've already recommended, the one before, but you said it has a two-thirds majority vote required. Uh, I don't understand why that would be because you're just you're just agreeing to authorize one year's worth of payment. The second one I understand is you're entering into a you're entering into it, and so I guess that makes more sense that you need the two-thirds for something that goes into future years. But that is just one year's worth of payment. You're not saying in the first part. You're not saying by like, passing that that you're also agreeing for the third year. Do you see what I, I, mean? I completely understand and agree with what you're saying. Um, I put it that way because that's what I was initially told to do. But I'm going to ask that same follow-up question. Okay. That is the question I have. And, and I'll make the point that, as, as we talked about before, that the final language of what's on here isn't really critical for what we're voting on for the, the appropriation. Um, yeah. or, I have a clarifying question. Apparently under SB2, when you have to do these greater than majority votes, they have to be three-fifths, not two-thirds. I'm not sure when they're two-thirds or three-fifths, but um, DRA said for this one specifically <coughs> that two-thirds was, um, she suggested two-thirds. You know. Is it because it's a lease? It's a, it's a, it's a multi-year contract, which okay. makes it more than just a simple majority, yes. But whether it be three-fifths or two-thirds, you know, I'll, I'll ask the question if we can go with um, three-fifths. Three-fifths is... We have to do two-thirds because we're staying with municipal. But it said, That's in my reading of it, that um, SB2 towns are three-fifths. So Thank you for that. that. I will ask. Clarify. Any further discussion? on the second police cruiser article. All in favor uh, of recommending this article as written, or not, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? And we will recommend. Emergency.
extrication equipment for the Rollinsford Fire Department to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate sum of $30,000 for purchasing emergency extraction equipment for the fire department and further authorize withdrawal of $30,000 from the capital improvement reserve fund established for that purpose. Motion. Motion from Vern. Second from Charlie. Any discussion? As, as I understand, this has been planned for quite some time. Yes. At least several years in the seven. I know it was discussed last year. Yeah, okay. Uh, we knew it was coming. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any aye. opposed? Any abstain? Passes. I am passed. It's recommended. Uh, the motion passes. That's the right language. Um, Town Hall Generator, to see if the town will raise and appropriate the sum of $30,000 to replace the generator for the Town Hall, and further to authorize the withdrawal of $30,000 from the Capital Improvement Reserve Fund established for this purpose. No amount to come from taxation. Recommended by the Select Board. Uh, we have a motion. Motion. Motion from Bern. Second from Angelo. Uh, any discussion? I, I have a question. Sure. Is it propane or oil? The proposed one. It is currently propane, but it's up for discussion. What? It, sorry, no. It's currently oil, diesel. It's, it's diesel. diesel. I think it's. You know what? I don't know, but what it's going to be is still a discussion point. The board has not decided what it will be, and there's discussion between the police department and the board about what it's it because of the underground tank. Because to make it propane, yes, it is propane. <coughs> that, that was the conversation. It is propane. The tank is close to the building, and so to meet code, in order to replace it with propane, you have to move the, the, the tank away and bury it, and what's the cost, and we don't know. So. Um, that's still an ongoing conversation, what it might be. Any other discussion on the town hall generator? Or all in favor of recommending, say aye. Uh -huh. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstain? Abstain. No good, no abstention. Uh, motion passes. Town Hall Assessment to see if the town will raise and appropriate the sum of $30,000 and further to authorize the Select Board to receive grant funds for that purpose. Recommended by the Select Board. The majority vote required. Uh, motion. A motion from motion. Burn. And a second from Angela. Uh, discussion. I'm just trying to understand the gentleman's point. Something you brought up. He's just bringing up the movie that was we're wasting the money for money in town hall. That's what he's saying, but there's no real solution right now, so there's no real option, right? Well, you know, I mean, they were talking, you know, he was talking about, um, you know, about having one floor going across and stuff. We, as a space needs, which I was a member of the space needs, we looked at that. There's no available land okay. that people were willing to sell to us. So the options at this point, was only Silver Street. So, I mean, in Silver Street, you can't have both complexes. If his intention was to have that, if his thing is only to go, please, what are you going to do with the town hall people? So, okay. yeah. I just want to let him yeah. his concern. I got it. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, okay. I'll yield to Sergeant. Oh, I'll yield back to Sergeant. So, so, my thought process is, and you know, it, it does address what Sonny said. He's looking for choices. I mean, one of the choices would be, of course, to stay in town hall, and how much does that cost? And so, I think this assessment is a step to determining what are the costs associated with, you know, in some, whatever it is, whatever those essential pieces are, and then maybe some of the plus pieces of, you know, redoing the second floor. But you need someone to come and provide expertise in order to cost, lay them out, do the engineering, and cost them out in percentage. In the engineering business, we would call us the do nothing alternative, and we need to know what that what that cost, cost. is yeah. essentially. So we can compare. Mm -hmm. but, um, I, I was thinking there's, we can't, we can only recommend or not recommend, but I'm suggesting that maybe a rewording that says to appropriate the sum of $30,000 and to expend it upon receipt of grants, so it, it's contingent upon receiving a grant for this 30000 so that it's like, 
control the razor in the program. Nobody's going to, you know, somebody talked about LCHAP, whatever it's called. LCHAP. No. LCHAP. No, whatever. not for this. My understanding is that they're yeah. involved. It, it can be for this. There are LCHIP grants that help with assessments. So if the goal is LCHIP funding for renovation or maintaining the option for LCHIP funding for renovation, then you need, um, you need an assessment that meets their criteria and they can help with the funding for that. So it may or may, it, it could potentially be. I know, but we're still looking for authorization for 30000 plus whatever else because we believe that it, it, it probably is going to be more than that. To well, do. so um, that it's limited to thirty as written, and you may or may not have offsetting grants as written. Mm -hmm. So the deliberative session can change this if we get more information and learn that we really need more money. But the authorization is up to thirty, and then I don't know if we can write it such that you can't spend it unless you have grant money. I, I'm not sure. Um, well, the reason I say that is many years ago they set up a, there was a Warren article that said uh, the town will raise an appropriate X dollars subject to receiving grants and donations from the second floor. But I don't know if you can still do that. Uh, Suzanne. I think, um, I think Bern, what you're suggesting though means that the assessment can't happen unless we receive the grants. And I'm thinking that we need to know that it would be 30000 that we would need to spend. Um, it would be nice if we could get it re recovered. But I, I support spending the 30000 in order to determine um, what uh, you know, uh, professional people think is, uh, needs to be fixed to bring the building up to specifications for the functionality that's <coughs> So, uh, regarding LCHIP, I have a little bit of information. I've received several points from them. And uh, this conditions assessment uh, will um, help with understanding what has to be done. There are no compliance requirements attached to the conditions assessment. The compliance requirements come when you seek a renovations or restoration grant. And the compliance requirements are that the town conform to the Secretary of Interior standards. The other thing about this is the timing, which is something I'm kind of questioning because you apply for this in June and they announce their awards in December. And the awards would be for the next calendar year. That's when the money is distributed. <coughs> In their budget, it comes out of their fiscal year, but for the recipient, it is awarded after January 1st. So I don't know how that affects the timing of this request. It's certainly worth having a warrant article in anticipation. It's very likely that the town would get this grant and that you would get it, though, to spend in 2021. Only for the LCHIP grant. Only for the LCHIP grant. That's correct. Yeah, there, there might be other options. Brothers that you could look into. The Hampshire Preservation Alliance also gives condition assessment grants and they do it on a monthly basis, mm -hmm. but it's much less than 30,000. I think yeah. their good idea is that they'll report us 7,500 of us. I guess I'm a little confused. I mean, I would prefer to see this written without any mention of grants, but the town has the ability to receive grants. So we're not, we're not I don't think, hot tying the, the town from going after LCHIP, whether we get it this year or next year. But for me, the, the language here is just, do we want to raise an appropriate $30,000 for an assessment? And yes, it would be nice if we could get some offset and grant money, but I, I guess I would support it as a needed project and, and willing to spend or provide my vote for authorizing this, the $30,000. I would also just say that we just presented this as a, as a cost without, without a that's how it's been presented, it seems to me. It's put it as, as presented. We can't change it anyway. We can't change it. Right. So, but anyway, that's, I think it's a select board question at the end of the day if they want to do that, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't affect what we're doing here today. So as, as written, uh, any more discussion on this particular article? I am voting against this basically for a couple of reasons. One, I don't think it's enough money. And two, I'd like to see what they were going to do with the police before we spend any more money on the town hall. 
this will help us determine what to do with I the police. I understand that. So we can't tell you what to do with the police until we have something like this happening. But there was no space needs meeting this year? No, because one, we were waiting for the report to come back from the company that we hired to evaluate our police station and their, and their needs, which did not result in uh, a completion project and us withdrawing from that. Mm -hmm. So we were waiting. It wasn't that we didn't want to meet, we just didn't have the data to help us make a proper decision. Okay, so the comments noted from, from Charlie's. Any other discussion before we vote? So all in favor of this article, say aye. 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 Uh, any opposed? At this one. No. And any abstain. So one, one opposed. No abstentions. Uh, we would recommend that capital reserve. Um, article 5 pound revaluation capital reserve fund. See the time will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of this dollars to be added to the town revaluation capital reserve fund established for this purpose from tax agents from tax agents. Did you know? Oh, I jumped over. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, well, let's do this one. We'll go back to that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Well, that's so. Motion to, to accept? Motion. Motion to recommend a second? I'll second. From one spring. Any discussion? We've got to do this. Let's just go. Mm -hmm. No further discussion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstain? Move the motion passes. So now going back up one, capital improvement reserve fund to see if the town will work to raise and appropriate $186,895 be placed in the town capital improvement reserve fund established for this purpose and it's from taxation and recommended by the select board and it's got uh, do I have a motion? Motion. Motion from Vern, second from Charlie. Uh, uh, Charlie Diana, I'm sorry. Uh, any discussion? I think we've discussed this at the time. Uh, okay, no further discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Identify 
uh, are culverts considered assets? Or are we talking about really just drainage systems for that? Um, that is for stormwater. Um, so it depends on, this is murky, um, what's an outfall. And, and you can have a three-hour conversation on what's yes. an outfall. Yeah. So, um, Understood. so it depends on how far away from an, impa you know, an impaired waterway it is and whether or not it's within the MS4 district, because by the way, the whole town is not. So um, it may help, but it's really not going to... The point is not for culverts under roads. The point of that asset management grant is really about stormwater structures and how they interconnect and um, outfall into... Yeah, my understanding is like Road is outside of the MS4 yes. district, so it would not... Yeah. I'm not sure. Yes, I think it is, but, but further, it's, it doesn't have... Um, there are no structures, there's no infrastructure leading, like while well, there's a culvert, you know, there are a whole storm drain system is removed from that area. So to address Burns' question, what I think is, is your question, does the town, has the town considered a cap to that fund that would be, you know, a sufficient carrying amount? You know, so, so that we're not necessarily putting 10,000 every year. Right? Is 40,000 enough to stop that? <coughs> They've popping up all over the <coughs> problem, so I think that we need to at least have a good padding in there. So the Partridge Lane culvert, when we discovered that it was collapsing in an emergency basis, cost us about eighty thousand yeah. dollars. So you know, when they go, they can go to the tune of tens of thousands of dollars. So we don't know yet what the cost of the immediate need is, which is the whole structure from behind the legion. To, you know, so I think once we figure that out, it might be a better time to discern what's like, we'll see at that time what the balance of the fund is and what would be an appropriate I, I goal balance. I thought at some point UNH had done an inventory of all the culprits in town and said some of these are in terrible shape, some of them are fine. I thought we had an inventory. Like the roads. There is one. I it's, so. There is one. It's, it's on the website. It's on the Google, Google. It's on our Google Drive. It's several years old. And at one point there was an, an acknowledgement that a was likely not exhaustive, and I don't know what B is. I guess that you know things continue to deteriorate. So whatever the assessment of that culvert was, you mean weasel phrases? Yes. Yeah. But we have found it to be not exhaustive. I'll, I'll say that. That's a weasel phrase. Any other other uh, comments related to the actual warrant <laughs> uh, creation? I mean, I think it's a good discussion. I don't I mean, down close, but any, any further? Discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any opposed. One vote. One opposed. And uh, any abstain? I'll just make the comment that, and I'm maybe this is what the was saying, but forty thousand dollars is not very much money. And when you talk about that that culvert repair going through by the Legion, that's that's a bigger that's, big that's bigger than forty thousand dollars. Yeah. So, so, so anyway, the point is this is. It's a good amount compared to what's probably needed at some point in the future. That's not what we're looking for. Sorry. Um, the next item on, on line is Conservation Land Trust Capital Reserve Fund to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate the sum of $15,000 to be added to the Conservation Land Trust Capital Reserve Fund. $10,000 will be transferred from the Land Use Change Tax Fund to fund this application. Appropriation, I'm sorry. Um, no amount to come from taxation is recommended by the select board. Is that supposed to be 15? That's an error. It should be 15. Instead, instead yes. of 10, it should say 15. 10,000 in writing? Yes. It, it needs to match the dollar amount that's above. So instead of $10,000, oh, it needs to be 15 because it got fixed, but only one spot. Are you talking about the culvert repair? No, no it just says 10,000. It needs to be 15. Oh, oh, it's oh, gotcha. correct. It, it was in there wrong and we fixed it. <coughs> Okay. We're looking to recommend whether fifteen thousand should be put in. Fifteen thousand dollars will be transferred. That's what we need to change it to fifteen. Got it. Thank you. Uh, to recommend from uh, Emily, second from Angela. Uh, any discussion? Yes. Right. As the town treasurer, I know how much is in the land use capital reserve fund. Is there any anticipated money coming in for you know conversion from Current use to use of 
to a substantial You never know, rate. but you, um, so um, likely the Bear Road property, if that, um, I, I, I can't say for sure that's in current use, but likely it is, and that would um, fund the fund. But it is worth noting that the fund that you're transferring fund from in order to make this happen has a finite amount of money in it, and so we yeah. can't continue to do this forever without something changing. I, I, I'm concerned unless, you know, Bear Road may stay on the market for three, four years. We don't know. And they may decide, well, we'll keep it just the way it is in current use. So you really can't plan on that. So you need to start thinking about, you know, throttling this back or looking for another source. Any other discussions? Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Yes. Opposed. One opposed. And uh, no any abstain. The motion passes. Land surveys and relocation. Sorry. Land surveys and related expenses. The city of the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of five thousand dollars to finance land surveys and related expenses that may be incurred in assisting private landowners who donate. Conservation easement and right, yeah, sorry, donate conservation easement and or to purchase options to buy critical lands that the town may wish to protect for open space or conservation uses, and further to authorize the withdrawal of five thousand dollars from the conservation land trust capital reserve fund for the purpose for that for this purpose. Motion. That comes from the taxation. Motion from Dern. Second from Charlie. Any discussion here? Good. I, I have a question. So I can't see. You're not all there. I'm the wall. If you encourage people to keep stuff in conservation, you won't have land use tax change. So you're, these two are in conflict, sort of. So I, I definitely agree on the $5,000, but just remember you've got now two things you're doing here. One is, you know, put money aside to buy land in conservation, and the other one is, Land use tax changes, you know, we're hoping that these will turn into land, land use tax revenue. I so where so you have to think about, you know, what you're doing. You have two agendas going here that can be opposite each other. So they're not mutually exclusive. I mean, I think what the Conservation Land Trust Capital Reserve Fund is doing is saying that, yes, we do want to conserve land. At the moment, we are able to take it from the blood. It may not be so in the future, as you've already pointed out. And so then we would have to decide whether we want it or fund it for taxation. Well, suppose I own the land on Bear Road. And I have two choices. One, develop it into oh, ten houses. Trailer park. In which case, there's a land <laughs> use tax change. Or I can, give it to, I can convey it to the town as a conservation easement, and you'll pay me $5,000 to survey it. So I get the choice. These two things are not necessarily complementary. <coughs> just, just I, point I don't it out. The developer or out. owner is making choices based on these two. All right. Um, any other discussion on this? All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Motion passes. That's the end of the articles. Any other business? Uh, yeah. Charlie. I'd like to thank Caroline for this. He did a very good job explaining all the tough parts. I apologize for the fire truck situation, but um, if you, I, I don't know if I missed it, but I do hear you all decide to recommend or not recommend that or ignore it. And I uh, think you we did not because I was just going through all the things. Uh, do we do we uh, have a motion to? Uh, <coughs> Recommend, I guess, in concept and amount uh, to to pull $55,000 from the capital reserve fund to pay for a new forestry truck for the fire department, which we discussed at our budget presentations. It's been actually on the CIP for a number of years. Um, sorry? You move to recommend. Emily moves to recommend. Does anybody second that? I'll second from Charlie. Um, now, this is a provisional recommendation, assuming that it's a legitimate to do it, but all in favor. Sorry, any discussion? Further discussion? Okay, all in 
favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? One we'll abstain, please. One we'll abstain. Abstention. And you're going to work out the final details for the Shore hearing? Or some other hearing? No, yeah. we, we, it's the priority for Tuesday morning when the state opens. Yeah. That's right. But Monday's more coming. That's right. Uh, Suzanne, a motion to adjourn. I think it's still. Suzanne's got a question. Can I go to the state and national board meetings and other public places, but I think it's, it's important for all of us to have a look at this, to look on the revenue and the interest on expenses, the job that Fern as a treasurer has done. The audience's revenue in that interest on investments loan is a significant advantage to, to the municipality that allows it to offset a whole lot of expenses on the expense of it. So I appreciate seeing that work and I thank you for what you've done to against that. Thank you. I know nothing. I know money. You know, I know money. You know, I know money. You know, I know money. I can, but then you have to be at great risk on some of my investments. So can we have give you Orange County, California as an example? Do we have a uh, motion to adjourn? Uh,